It's like a movie or something. <laughs> so let's not call this Thanksgiving. Cut Columbus out of the equation, take him down a peg. We can call this harvest night. It can be like our thing. Harvest. Yeah, like pegging it up. Jesus Christ. Yes. Not him either. I, I get enough of him at family Christmas. That had better be the boys. Well, also did say they were coming. That was hours ago. I don't like when people disrespect my time. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Where's Jonah? Oh yeah, he uh, he, he says he doesn't know if he can make it. He's pretty wiped from practice. Oh, he's tired from practice, is he? Poor baby. I mean, I am too. But then you kept texting me about the fucking turkey, so... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's fucking tiring? Slaving away all day in the kitchen like we never escaped the 50s just so Jonah can screw us over for, for sports. Is that what you've been doing I all mean, day? what's even the point of sports? Don't grown men have anything better to do than running in circles and chasing balls? Did you know it takes 14 hours to cook a turkey? Well... Uh, uh, no need to answer that. Is this a bad time? Because I could... Come back and we can Maybe do this next. Maybe you should just go find Joe and I'm the two of you can eat cold fucking breadsticks for dinner or just like Wonder Bread with nothing on it because you don't even deserve this turkey. And you can tell Jonah that if he does turn up, I'm gonna go full fucking pig and shove a potato okay, on his ass, I, and then we'll see how he manages you sports. You made your point. Holy fuck, why did he become such a crazy bitch all of a sudden? Thank you for coming. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Say hi to Jonah from us. Yeah. Um. Cool. Later. <laughs> I've got to say that was a little gratifying. What should we do about dinner now? You and Jonah, huh? Gross! You fuck him! Have you? <laughs> Don't insult me! Once, I don't even like him. Clearly. Okay, three times. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your vegetables. Vegetables? You made such nice carrots with the, the what's its face, the stuff that goes on the carrots. Glaze. Yeah, the glaze. <laughs> <laughs> and now nobody's going to eat it, and it's going to be all cold and lonely and unwanted. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be mad at you. Today is entirely your fault. All that work for nothing. How the fuck am I supposed to be mad at you when you're projecting onto root vegetables? I'm sorry, that's pathetic. Record setting low. This is a really big deal to you, isn't it? How come? I mean, you said yourself they're not even your friends. They're not so bad. The whole holiday dinner thing is just what you do once you're an adult, isn't it? I mean, I've done it every year my entire life. I feel wrong not to. Didn't you do the same back home? I guess, I mean, my mom wants my brother and me to be more American than the Americans. You should see how extra she is with decorating our house for July 4th. It's disturbing. She doesn't really understand the whole Thanksgiving thing, though. Usually we'd all say something we're thankful for and then go to Olive Garden. <laughs> Oh. I sent 
sometimes don't know where that is anymore. I mean, sometimes I catch myself saying, I'm going home, and that's sometimes here and sometimes there. Back there, I've got my mother to deal with, and here everybody's so fucking white. And I, I can't even use fucking chopsticks properly, and the guy in the dim sum place always looks so disappointed in me if I ask for a fork. It's true, you suck at using chopsticks. I'm better at it than you, and the only restaurant in my hometown was a Chinese buffet run by a Swiss couple. <laughs> okay. And we only went once a year when my elementary school tried to get cultural. You can't say anything, because you never seen Hannah Montana till we met. Or bought Starbucks. <laughs> we didn't have Starbucks. We didn't even have a stoplight. <laughs> I'm thankful for you as a roommate. Oh, don't be sappy. <laughs> I am, though. Fuck boys. Hoes of four girls all the way. You always show up for me. Okay, now your turn. Do I have to? Obviously. Fine. I'm thankful that... that we have chicken wings in the freezer. I never want to cook anything ever again. Lame. I'm thankful that I've never slept with a football player. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> I'm thankful that out of all the dumbasses in the city who could have answered my roommate ad, I got stuck with you. Oh, I love you too. Okay, okay, that's enough. I told you not to be sappy. So, chicken wings? I'm starving. Oh, me too. Chicken wings it is. So what are we going to do about this turkey? I've decided I'm going vegan after this. For the <laughs> environment and stuff. It's too late to cook it tonight. I guess I could do it another day, but I don't want the oven on while we're out or asleep in case the house burns down, and I won't have time after work. I never want to eat turkey again. It'll taste like sadness. It won't fit in the freezer. Maybe the fridge if we move things around. Are you putting it on the balcony? I know we did that with the apples, but it's five degrees out there. More when the sun is shining. That's definitely not food safe. That's a whole ass turkey you just chucked in the hedge. <laughs> a turkey that was fed and cared for and slaughtered and plucked and gutted to and arrived here at this exact moment. It deserves better than to wind up in a cedar hedge next to dog shit and chip packets. It's better to cut things off once they're not working. Put up actual physical distance. My god, you should be grateful I'm not a psych major. <laughs> <Okay>. Well, <clears throat> If you reheat the carrots, I'll put the chicken wings in the oven. We can even call it harvest night. I'm thankful for chicken wings. 